I grew up on traditional bluegrass, but uh, spent many years on the road uh, playing the jam band circuit, which was uh, a lot of improvisational stuff. I also grew up uh, about as country as you can get. Countries and bluegrass are a big part of who I am, but I also love blues and, and R&B and rock and I think our album reflects all of those loves because we have so many different genres that we pull from. It's very country in one way but uh, there's definitely an R&B feel and a, a jam band feel as well. It's an album about real life, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the songs uh, uh, called Hey Country that's on the album, I, I wrote all the lyrics from, from growing up with anticipation of uh, going to Nashville. I was a kid, I used to dream about going to Nashville to the big music scene, with the songs that I heard from my dad's radio. And during that time, uh, everything that I had heard and had been listening to all my life, uh, when I got there, everything had kind of changed into a uh, more pop country thing. And then uh, Alan Jackson came along and, and kind of brought it back to, uh, to real country along with other people. And, and then a few years ago, it kind of all starts happening again. You know, country music is sacred to country music fans. It always comes full circle to me, and it always goes back to the roots, and it always goes back to traditional, and I think that's where we're at in country music now. I used to sit all day long, my guitar in hand, sometimes a banjo or an old mandolin. I wrote one on there called That's What I Call Home, and my son played high school football, and they were in the the playoffs and the whole town was so supportive. As many small towns across the South, football was so important. And it's not necessarily a, a song about football, it's just about home. Like amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Church bells ring in my hometown. Friday nights, the stores close down. No one boys play ball. Stars and stripes and people stand. Hands on hearts and hats in hands. It's all about the same. Um, in the musician world, there's always musicians that other musicians talk about in high regard. And I remember, you know, always going to these bluegrass gatherings or, or any kind of music event. Barry Waldrop was one of the names that was brought up. To be able to, to say that I now play music with Barry is a huge honor to me. It's more than just playing music. It's getting along <laughs> with it and understanding and, and being humble and know that there's always somebody doing something that you're not doing and there, there's just no room for egos in, in my book. In